Hello everyone, I am Bama Kapow and this is a walkthrough of Shadows Peak. Shadows Peak is a game released in early access on Steam that you can pick up right now and it was created by independent game developer Andre Vincevich. I have to warn you that this is a complete walkthrough taking you from the beginning to the ending of the game, exposing the puzzle secrets or puzzle solutions and hidden objects and other things as well so if you do not want to know the solution to the game do not watch this video it will ruin the game for you so anyway with that said let's begin i'm going to pick a language here and we're going to create a new game a lot of dark legends surround this place that's why by offering michelle to meet here I've decided to kill two birds with one stone, spend some time with Michelle, and gather some information from my book about myths and legends. The problem I have is that when I'm near Michelle, I completely forget about my work. Okay, after the cutscene, you're going to wake up on the dock here in just a moment. Sweet, here we go. And you will notice that Michelle is gone. Oh no, where is she? Now, as you go through the beginning of this game here, it will give you some tips on keys to press to do certain things, but movement is the same as most of these games. It's just WASD with space to jump. Um, and shift to run so with that said let's just go through see here's some of the tips michelle. i'm talking about michelle michelle yeah you press the f key to interact with objects such as these save blocks or crystals that you'll see so that saved my progress up to this point now coming off the pier you want to take a right on this path here and and that's just another hint right there telling you to press the mouse wheel or one through four to switch through your items you notice I'm using my mouse wheel right now I only have the phone and we can read this it says now you're able to see them and they're able to see you okay so anyway what you want to do is you just want to continue on this path here and you can run as I said or you can walk I find if you walk at the beginning or excuse me, if you run at the beginning, you're going to lose health points because your player gets sick for some reason. I don't, I don't know why, but he gets sick, and I don't want to lose any health points at the moment. But anyway, if you walk up to this dock here and go directly opposite the dock, meaning you take a left from that path, I hope that makes sense. You come to this group of cabins here. Now, in our effort to just get through the game as quickly as possible, I'm not going to spoil some of the other hidden secrets, but uh, what we want to do is go to this second cabin, and the door's wide open, so we can just go right in, walk up the steps, and go to the second room on the right, and you'll see a dead body. Get the knife out of the dead body. Now you have your weapon. So, and again, just scrolling through the the uh, mouse wheel there it switches objects there so come back out of the cabin and go back toward the main gate here but we don't want to go out the gate we want to go to the right here down this long path all right we keep walking and you'll eventually see a log across the road here we want to go past it <gasps> All right, and then you'll see a red, uh, not red, yellow car. And you can run up to it. Ignore the car though, just go right past. See, that's what happens when you run too much. You get that, but if you walk through, you, do no, you don't get that. Okay, my phone's ringing. It says there's no service, but I got a message. The message says we need fresh souls. Kill them and you'll get your fiance back. So we gotta kill some people. Well, I see a light back here. Let's walk back here. There's a campsite, and lo and behold, there's a woman. 
Now, I was confused at first. I thought this was my fiance. It is not. It is a different woman. She's going to see you and run. You can catch her. And you can kill her. Maybe. I can't run at the moment. But that's okay. If you, if you don't kill her, you, you haven't lost yet. So, just hang on here. She's going to be scared of a guy and a you know wielding a knife so she's naturally gonna drive away but she's not gonna see that tree and she has a horrible accident and she dies so there is a white soul which I have actually collected alright and when you collect those souls it increases your health okay so that's a good thing all right, and let's see here. Now, you're supposed to be a good guy, okay? So when you're playing this game, you have two ways to go here. You can either, like I said, you can kill this woman, or you can let her drive off and let, you know, the horrors of nature take its course and she kill herself. Either way, you collect her soul. So now you want to walk past this uh, tent campsite here and go towards this graveyard. We're not going to go in the graveyard, though. We're going to take a right through, I mean, a left through here, and we're going to follow this path. And remember, our object is to get through the game as quickly as possible. So I'm skipping all the extras, the extra things to explore and all. So you follow this path, and you're going to come across a van here, and you're going to set the alarm off. Uh-oh, now what? Watch out, here comes a guy. This guy will kill you. Okay? See, my health is down to 25 now. So I had no choice but to kill him. Which still makes me a good guy. Collect his soul. Okay? And now your health is back up. And you, you're, you're, in, you're in good standing because you didn't actually kill the guy. You killed him in self-defense. There's a cave right there you can explore. It's pretty neat. Okay? Continue on this path. And you'll get a message that simply says, just one more. So that tells me I've got to kill one more person. Or, or cause the death of another person or something, right? Alright, so we're going to follow this path. The next thing we have to do is we have to go to the lighthouse. So you can just simply follow this path here. And I noticed that if you run through this path, you will activate some of the the dark shadows that are the enemies of the game. I don't want to activate them, so I'm just going to simply walk. And hopefully up here we'll see one shortly. Uh, usually there's one over in that area. Yep, there he here he comes. Now these these shadow are these shadows are pretty easy to outrun. Normally you can outrun them pretty easily. However, if for some reason you can't outrun them, you can uh, kind of just go around them and stuff. They, I mean, they're shadow people. What do they know, right? They're not. You cannot kill them, so don't try to stab them or anything. A lot of times just to annoy to get rid of the annoyance I'll let them get me and that way I don't have to worry about them anymore now they do take quite a bit of your health so you want to be very careful doing that making sure you have enough health to sustain it all right now we come up to the lighthouse here and we'll hear a Geiger counter but we're gonna not worry about that we do need this flashlight and we can go ahead and replenish our health using that kit um, there's not much else that happens here at the lighthouse you can knock on the door and stuff but there's really nothing else that happens so after you get the stuff from the lighthouse just follow the bridge back over and go straight you're gonna go through between these two rock formations and there's another ghost. I think he's just going to walk past unless he sees you. So don't get too close. Let him go. That way you won't have to deal with him. 
All right, he's going to be gone now. So we're going to walk to the end of this path and take a right. I'm going to follow this path now. And you can run through here pretty easily. I don't think there's any shadows through here that will get you. And now you, you come to this area here. You can um, make your way through these rocks. And you'll come to the original pier that we spawned on. And now you want to come straight from that pier and walk up this path. Again, you can run up here. But once you get toward the end of this, you want to stop running because there are shadows around. Yeah, there goes one right there. So take a right at the end of that that path, and you'll see that bridge. We got to get across that bridge. I run a little bit. There's that shadow. He's gone. All right, made it through that, and now you're safely able to run across the bridge. And at this point, your batteries for the flashlight are going to die, which kind of sucks. And I'll show you why in a minute. You'll see a dog here. That dog is not friendly. Do not pet that dog. He will bite your face off. So I'm going to go ahead and save progress here. Uh, we need to get inside this building. However, that door right there in the front is locked. So we got to go to the back of the building. And you'll see this ladder here. You can, uh, whoops, I'm stuck. Push the ladder against the house and use that to gain entry into the house. Very good. And this, this place is pretty spooky. You can look around if you like. But go through that main door, come down the steps, and then go into this room on the right. Which you will hear a walkie-talkie. Can anyone hear me? Please, someone help. I'm in a cave and my leg is broken. The battery's almost dead. Alright, and you can hit F on that and you'll get nothing else. But this is what's important in this room. There's a backpack here. And it has a key in it to a cabin. Okay. Oops. And that little teddy bear. He, he wreaks havoc all over the place. Go to the refrigerator. Open it. Grab this bone out. And we can use this bone here to pacify this dog. Give the dog the bone. And he'll walk off and he'll be content the rest of the game. Alright. I am... This is the cave area. Shadow's Cave. But you cannot get in without a working flashlight. And our batteries just died, so I'm guessing we got to find some batteries, right? Alright, so go back out across the bridge. And be careful out here because there are shadows around. So I'm just going to walk. Don't let him see you. Alright, just gotta watch it because we gotta go in that direction too. Um, follow the shadow. But come down to the end of the bridge and take a right and he's gonna see me. That's okay, well let's just run and follow this path straight on. Just run as fast as you can because that shadow's behind you. If we run when we can, we can definitely outrun this guy. Okay, and you're going to find this little cabin right here. Alright, now here's something very important. That shadow's not following me anymore, by the way. Um, if, you're, if your health is below 50, don't, don't use the key on this door. What you'll need to do is come under this tower. A rock's going to fall. And you can pick it up. And then you can throw it and knock that down. It may take you a couple of times to get it. There we go. And now you have a health kit. Alright. My health is fine. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and open this. And I'm just going to let that guy get me because it's not worth the effort to try to lose him when I've got a health kit right here. But go inside this cabin and there's the batteries. So now we have a working flashlight again. So we have to run all the way back to 
have to run all the way back to the main um, cabin across that bridge there where the cave is. That's where we're going. Our ultimate goal now is to go to the cave. And you can try running through here. I don't know. I, I don't remember there being any shadows, but I know there's some up by the entrance to the bridge there. So yeah, we're just gonna. Yeah, there he is. He he saw me. I'm just gonna outmaneuver him and run across the bridge. I should be okay. He may follow me, but I I can get into the cave area now. So I'm not really worried about it. And you can save again if you want. Alright, now we are entering into the cave. The cave is a very spooky, nice place here. I like it a lot. Um, it's not that difficult to find your way through. And there's the menacing teddy bear again. You get that little scare there of the bridge shaking. But you can walk across the bridge without a problem. Just continue to follow the cave and remember this blood splatter there. Now when you get to the blood splatter, take a right and follow this part of the cave and just follow it down and around. You'll see the ripples in the water, Follow, go to them. You'll see the little ghost girl run off, follow that. But when you get to the end here, take a right. But be very careful because there's a bear trap there. And here's another health uh, kit if you need one. Alright, so t come back out from where the health kit is. And then you just go straight on through. Is that Was that the flock of seagulls? But anyway, you'll come to this other bridge. Now this bridge you have to be careful on because you will fall through these holes. So it's, it's just a little bit, you know, more difficult to get across, but it's, it's pretty easy. Continue to follow. Just follow the cave. Shouldn't have any issues getting lost or anything. But when you get to the end, take a right and follow it around, up and around again. And you'll see the blue light. We want to go to that blue light. You can run some throughout the cave too. Here's the blue light. You see the four shadows over there under their blue crystal. And you'll see a blue crystal here. There's a skeleton with a. I don't know why she. The skeleton is holding another skull, but she has a purse. You can um, see what's in the purse. Or you need to collect the key that's in the purse, actually. And then come back out from the blue light the whatever you want to call that thing and take a right you'll see a door up here so that's the key that that the door that that key goes to so open that door follow the cave and you'll come across this water you have to swim through the water try to swim quickly you will lose health points in this part there are some neat things if you can take the time to look at but it's hard to make it all the way through without losing some health. So just be careful about that. Continue following the cave. Just keep going straight. You'll see another blue light. Let's go towards it. You'll hear the guy crawling out. Now keep walking and you're going to see this weird block or toward the end of this cave. If you keep walking, you'll trigger that. That big block or rock, whatever, stone is going to fall and it's going to land on the poor dude with a broken leg. So now you've collected his soul. Okay? So now you have three souls, right? And really, you didn't kill anybody. They killed themselves. And you can just make your way through here and you cannot get back out that hole that you <gasps> fell down. Uh, you'll get a message saying that she is waiting for you at a pier. That's good to know. But you can't get back out, so you have to continue to follow the cave. Um, and it's pretty easy. Just continue to follow it. There's some other things that would try to take your uh, attention. That's okay. Just follow it out. 
walk up these steps and you'll get to this big hole here you have no option you have to go down it you can do it without hurting yourself or if you've got enough health you can just run down the, the hole this is that blood splatter that I mentioned earlier when you get to it take a right a, a spirits gonna follow you out that's all right you can just run and you can push that bear out of the way no problem just keep running straight and this is the main entrance to the cave that we came in. You can go back out the cave. Now, when you have control again, you need to run because there's like two or three shadows behind you. Run back across the bridge, but be careful. The bridge is going to fall and you're going to probably hit some of those rocks. But that's okay. Once you're in the water, swim to the right. Keep swimming jump up out of the land here or on land I, I can't talk and then follow this path back down to the main pier where we started the game and you see the light at the end of the pier that's Michelle so that's basically it so what probably around 20 minutes that you can make it through However, before I run to Michelle, I want to explain something. There are a lot of other places that I didn't even I didn't even show you. So there still are a few little secrets that you can uncover here. Um, none really related to finishing the game, but still neat. Um, okay, so let's just go ahead and finish it out here. Now, if you don't want to see the main secret of this game, Go away now because what's about to happen will will uh, really ruin it if you watch it. But anyway, here we go. Don't move or I'll shoot. They are very pleased with your work. When they'll take those souls from you, they will have enough energy to get home. I'm sorry for doing this, but please don't move or we will both die. Okay, so yeah, that concludes the walkthrough of Shadows Peak. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click the old like button, subscribe for more walkthroughs, and I appreciate it, guys. Talk to you in the next one.